Volunteers are scrambling to make this Christmas a little special for kids in Halifax County. Yeah, this is a terrible story. So earlier this week, a nonprofit discovered that most of the gifts collected uh, for the annual Toys for Tots campaign were taken by someone. Someone stole all of them. Uh, CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant talked to the coordinator about what happened and how the community is now stepping up to help. Monday morning, Melissa Battle with the Halifax County Toys for Tots campaign and others were ready to get to work. Monday morning was our day to uh, do our organizing where we um, organize our tours according to ages and gender. So um, my assistant coordinator, Stacey Henderson, had informed me as she got to the warehouse at 10 o'clock. I came up shortly and she had texted me and said, you're going to be disappointed. When she walked into the warehouse and saw it for herself, Battle says she was blown away. There's no more boxes, there's no boxes to open, no, to sort, no small pallets. She said, this is it. Battle says someone broke in and took a bunch of the toys from the warehouse. She says the plan was to give out toys to more than 500 kids, but now it looks like they can only serve about 100 to 150 children. At first I was, I was angry. Just be honest, I was angry. Because my first thought was, how can somebody do this to children? How can somebody do this to children? This is my tip, you're doing this, and this has never happened. And this is a rural, economically deprived area. So we... <laughs> I was mentally traumatized. Battle says it has been tough, but says almost right away, people started reaching out to help. We're trying to reach out and make arrangements with a lot of people locally. Um, I've had a couple of the local coordinators in the local counties that reached out and they're going to help us. Um, so, and people, I mean, the support has been phenomenal. I regained my, I restored my faith in the community. That was Nick Sturdivant reporting. We are still working to get updates on this investigation from Enfield Police. Volunteers are working around the clock to get more toys. If you are interested in helping, you can find our story uh, on our website, cbs17.com, or, of course, the CBS 17 News app.